game plan is almost exactly the same, except just a little bit different here and there. You, it's literally control the space with your first, like with your horizontal, uh, with your horizontal projectiles, and then they jump at you. Use your anti-air. But this is what actually I completely forgot about this. Oh. Jimmy has a Palutena, and I think this might be the character I, to I, beat this. I this. Think so. I think this is the better choice. He's, he has access to the reflector, but can also control the a slightly larger space with uh, with side B, the explosive flame. Yeah. And not only that, Palutena has the ground speed and air speed to kind of keep up with Richter's oppressive projectile game. And just the spacing to get around a lot of those different kinds of tools. Still, we have to see how Jimmy deals with the... Um, getting in for with that dash speed because you're still not going to get something unless you're going to parry that f tilt that f smash it's going to be hard to work but off stage yep. palutena will do work on this character. Uh, she's one of the best characters off stage and even then above that up air still being as good as ever it really it really is just been a strong move. Palutena was always like a few changes from being a great character. And now we're seeing that come to fruition, but Frosty fighting back. Here nice go. F smash. Getting the F smash in. Stuck on the platform. Wanted to chase with the Nair. The back air. You see the invincibility coming in. Clanking with the projectile. That's another arsenal. That's like another tool in Palutena's arsenal. The invincibility on both back air and dash attack is going to allow her to kind of negate those projectiles, even just for a moment. Back throw. This might be far enough. Yep. He has to recover in a certain space because he's he's Richter. He's a Belmont. Yep. Explosive flame at a high enough percent. Right, trying to establish some good ledge control here. Jimmy managing to make it back. Tried for the anti-air. Shucker on the platform, but gets caught in the forward tilt. Nice back recovery. on the ledge. Surprisingly, he's not trying to get some holy water set up. Yo, shout out to Defcon. <laughs> <laughs> but we have not seen a counter yet, and I think just even putting the fear that something will get reflected or countered yeah. may be a little helpful. See, the thing that about uh, and this is just coming from somebody who also plays this character a lot, okay. is that while the reflector can be good in this matchup. Her ground speed and her overall like tools and explosive flame is good enough to where I don't really think that you need it. I mean, it is helpful. I'm not saying that it's not helpful. I'm saying that it's good to just kind of keep in the pocket and let the character forget about, oh, wait a minute, this character also has a reflector. Yeah. So that if you do get in a tense moment where they're going to be setting up axe on the ledge or if they're throwing out side B a lot, you got to wait until the right moment so that that time you reflect it back and it gets hit by them. You gotta save it in the pocket. And I, I just noticed this that also is helpful for Palutena. Yes. She lost the stock in the ledge, but it wasn't because of like the item place trapping. It was through the ledge get up. Oh! But you gotta also be careful because on the ledge, she is just so dangerous with that up smash. And her speed gets her to the roll spot yeah. too. But not only is it a little bit faster, but it's also got more active frames on it too, so it can catch stuff like get up attack, neutral get up, even jump from ledge. Yep. So it's something to watch out for. So I was, what I noticed is really showing and helping that Palutena is a teleport recovery. She's not going to be a clank with any projectiles that are thrown out that would maybe give Frosty an advantage. And honestly, with Frosty, I, this stage I feel like is very good for the Belmonts. It's the wide space, the platforms to throw projectiles over and under. I feel like it's going to be working, so I'm, I'm, I kind of agree with going back here. We have not seen a final destination for a little bit, and I don't think it would necessarily be great against Palutena's juggle game either. Oh, absolutely not. No, if Palutena would juggle Richter to the ends of the earth on FD, so this really would be the best stage to go back to. And right now, Jimmy doing a good job of just kind of keeping in Frosty's face. Platform. Oh, watch out on the air dodge, nowhere to go, and that's going to be a free up air. And Frosty shaking his head, not really happy with that. It's really hard to deal with as a Belmont. You also don't have like a strong like neutral air hitbox. Like you don't have a Mario hitbox to try to trade even. Maybe Nair might do something, but it's still it's a multi hit that's not going to just like have that strong trading power to it. 
and Jimmy doing a really good job getting the directional air dodge away into the explosive flame. Tries to dash attack the dive kick, but just a little bit too far away. Now just look at this. Uh, Jimmy is sort of running away with this game. Oh, I'm. I like how he just there followed him off stage. Yeah. And Paltena, uh, Warp also goes a little bit farther, so she does have the recovery to kind of contend with that. And wow. once again, that's the first counter that he's thrown out this entire set. See, he's been saving it for moments like that where he's like feeling, okay, well, maybe I exhausted all my options. I haven't done this in a while. Let's do this. I don't even think it was necessary to reflect the iframes on the beginning of the counter. Just got him out of the forward smash. Nice reflect there. And one thing that also Jimmy is kind of then has a tend to incorporate into his Palutena game is that you notice that you're not really seeing warp cancels. Now, on this stage in particular, Palutena can't warp cancel on those top platforms and do so very easily, just get a lot of nice movement options. Back throw, not gonna Almost. do it yet. Oh, going for a Let's trump. Run. Yeah, and that's gonna do it. Explosive flame killing and at 152. Oh, see, tried it there, but I don't think he got short. it. Ooh. Yeah, the trick is, is that you gotta like go at a 45 degree, like you gotta like be at a 45 degree angle when you're going away from that platform. Mm -hmm. And as uh, all you do is, if you just hold diagonal down towards the ledge, it'll do it. Another good trick is if you're directly above it, if you hold down when you teleport, you automatically slide when you land. Frosty not getting as hurt neutral here, but. It's trading even. That's not good enough for where he's at in the, no. in the game. Because right now, Jimmy is sitting very, very pretty right now. He, he knows that he can take his time. He's at a position where he knows that he's got a really good lead. He can afford to just kind of hang back. And Frosty is trying his best to kind of get in as fast as he can. But at the same time, to his detriment, it's causing him to like make a lot of mistakes and overextend a lot of stuff. And really, he's trying to rely back on the zoning thing. But like once again, you got to be careful with when you pull those projectiles because Explosive Flame can just punish the startup of that. It feels like Explosive Flame hits exactly where Richter normally wants to be. Yep. It's at that nice, perfect range. Oh, there is a side B. That, that's, that's the... Oh, right there. That was such a good parry. And Jimmy going all the way out for it, tries for the trump, not going to get it, gets hit with an up tilt. Now, back in this neutral state, Jimmy kind of going off here, a nice shield that Explosive Flame may have killed. I think at, at this percent, oh, Explosive Flame will kill. Okay. I think Frosty has noticed how to get through these projectiles now. Yep. And that's one thing that he's starting to adapt more, is that Explosive Flame, it is a really good option. But if you get behind it, as soon as Paltina throws it out, Palutena is stuck in a lot of landing legs, so you can not get it. Possibly a pretty big punish off of it. Okay, back throw is not going to do it yet. Forward no. throw definitely. <laughs> Forward throw, I mean, he wanted that just for stage position. Like, that, that's easy, that's like, that's the one thing that he wanted. That was some of the most, that looked like the most Smash 4-esque gameplay right at the end there. Hold shield, I, that, that's the classic. Dodge, just back airs on it. That's how us Palutena's have been playing since 2014. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Just keep keep jumping, keep jumping, and if they drop shield, hit him with a back air. I'm Tail very, is old as time. I'm very interested in this game three. Because I think Frosty, Frosty got it. Frosty is beginning to understand how to use side B to interrupt Palutena's approach. Go oh, on. no, wait, we got a character switch. You get Ridley. So, I, you know, I don't know if this is I gonna be a good idea either, because the thing is that Palutena eats heavies for breakfast. Her Nair is way too good as a combo tool. She's got the projectile, and she's got the way to kind of control space as general, but on the other hand, Ridley <laughs> is, really is a strong hitter. And Palutena is like, like Palutena is a fast faller, but in terms of weight, Palutena is on the lighter side. Like I would say, upper middle weight. And I think what really helps is that Ridley is fast. Ridley that is, true. is very fast, very strong, and also he kind of has that mid-range zoning that Richter has to a much lesser extent. But I feel like it works a bit better in a close mid-range setting than Richter. And if the way Jimmy has been playing. Oh! It oh. gets the tech chase with the side B. Man, I love Ridley. 
<laughs> and Frosty is definitely showing it up. Look at the look at the tots. He knows. Oh, he's, oh, he you knows. feeling yourself? Get it off your chest. Yeah, if I if I was if I was Jimmy right now, I'd be a little shook. That's that's the uh, that's the elite smash special. <laughs> no taunting, no taunting online. Thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> ZSS back air, not gonna do it for Ridley. And just the movement by the ledge here, the no, down smash. No invincibility. That was a regrab. Yeah, regrabbing that ledge, kind of a bad idea. All right. Not gonna get the follow up on the down throw, and but it was a good one of, This is one of the inherent problems with Palutena Sulka. Any character that can get up into her face really well, she doesn't have a whole lot of options to really get a lot of people off. While Nair out of shield is a good option, it does have a little bit of startup on it. So if a character is close enough, they can just keep that pressure going, and they don't have to worry about anything. Ooh. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about Ridley's F smash. That that move has so much knockback growth. That so is much. that is just the that's the fuego. <laughs> that's the entire Chipotle burrito at once. Just like okay, hold on, I don't feel so good. Yeah, ah! I think Jimmy's gonna be running running somewhere after this. Got to deal with a little some burrito action. That's man, Ridley. Dude, I, as soon as he got that down, I'm like, nah, that, that, like that was that was insane. That was absolutely nuts. But now here's the problem, though. Down two games. You're down two games. And if you lock onto Ridley, that means that Jimmy has the capability of switching to a sword character, and this is where the game, this is where you're going to start seeing a little bit of uh, variety in this. The thing now, is, I'm not sure about this matchup. I'm not sure about this either because Krom has the range and has the power to kind of keep Ridley at bay for the most part. All and right. as you're seeing right now, Jimmy is letting it be known, hey, you know, you got me Ooh. on the last game. I'm not gonna let you get the chance. On Ooh. this one. That parry just sealed it. This is like the exact opposite of last game. Yep. Last game, Frosty just had everything. This time, he even interrupts the, the command grab. I mean, oh, here's the rough part for Krom, though. Fireballs against Ether is a rough day. Yeah, this is going to be like the the the, uh, the strategy for this for Frosty is going to be get Krom off stage, try to get him in neutral B range, and keep him using that. Because that neutral B, that is easily one of Ridley's strongest gimmick tools at a distance. Mm -hmm. And you'll yeah. see it right here. Not really far enough, show. yeah, far enough away where he's going to snap on the ledge and the parry coming in. Yo, Punishing with meta. the up smash. Parry meta, letting you get Ridley F smash. I'm telling you, man, ultimate kids are going to be so good at third strike by the time that this game is three <laughs> or four years old. Nice down air. Little unexpected. Oh! <laughs> All right, Jimmy's like, nice down air back. Here you go. That's it. Oh, that's a suicide. Yes, that's going to be it. And Jimmy.